So yeah, we, I don't even know when we wrote that, but it was at least 10 years ago or 11 years ago. And she was, she was coming through, I live South of Boston and she was coming through to play Gillette, like two nights sold out at Gillette stadium, which is like 105 thousand people you know what I mean <laughs> over the course of two nights yeah. and um so she just had these little shows you know down the street and she reached out back then she reached out and we had mutual friends and um and we had never worked together and she reached out back then and said I'm gonna be you know in your town um would you want to write a song and so she came here to my house one of the days like before the show which is really amazing because it's like Taylor Swift coming over to my house to write a song. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, but it was also like, think about you have a show, you're going to play for 60,000 people tonight. There's dances there. You're playing guitar. You're singing your heart out. You like, there's a huge band, all these things. There's a VIP, there's a meet and greet. There's all the things that you have to do. And beforehand she comes here to write a song, like a brand new song that isn't, doesn't exist yet. And then she's going to go and do that. It's quite like, I can't even play like the bluebird after I've written a song all day long. Like, I, I don't know how she does that, but she, she, she showed up and she had this idea. She had a lot of that going already. And she said, she kind of wanted to know like my thoughts on, should it be more rock or should it be more folky? And we kind of talked about that. And then honestly, I, the way I remember the day is I mostly just sat there and watched her write the song and I just was like her cheerleader when she needed you know when she was like when she would hit a wall like should it be this or this which do you like better I would be the person to give my you know what I thought but she's an ex like outrageously talented mm -hmm. and she doesn't write anything down she just remembers like that's unbelievable yeah that's, and then, that's so crazy and then she left, she went to the show to get ready. And then we went to the show to watch and I didn't hear anything for, it was an incredible show. And my kids all came, like she invited my family and everything. And I didn't hear anything for X amount of years. And I knew the, you know, obviously we do this all the time where we write with artists and the, and they don't make the record. The songs just yeah. don't like the Harry Styles thing. It's like, but you still get to build this relationship. You get to create something together. It's like, it's amazing what we get to do. Even if it doesn't make the record, we you have to be thankful and you have to mm -hmm. just take it all in. And just watching her work was really awesome, you know, because she's- oh, Absolutely. Yeah, and then one morning I was still in bed and I got a text message from a number that I didn't know. And it was a voice text. And it was like, hey, Laurie, if this is your old co-writer from way back in the day, like call me back on this number. I have some news for you. And I didn't know this, but if you don't have the number saved in your phone and it's a voice text, I think if you like let it delete, the number also deletes. So I was like, that sounded like Taylor Swift. I'm not sure. I know Red is like coming out probably at some point. And I put the phone down and I walked away and I went back to it and it was gone. Like it was all like gone. And I was like, did I dream that that was Taylor Swift? <laughs> And so I reached out to her business manager, her manager, and he's like, call her back. Here's the number. And so I texted her back and then she called me and we talked for like a half an hour and she was so excited about everything she had done. She, she remembered everything about the day. And we just had this awesome talk um, about writing the song and, and her recording the song and what she had done with it. And how she had added some things and what she thought she was going to do with the video, which hadn't been made yet, obviously. And it's just been a ball. She's, she's one in a million that, that one. She's so talented.